story about Charlie Rose, we learned that there are extensive allegations against him concerning widespread sexual harassment. That includes groping, that includes walking nude in front of women who are working for him, it includes late night sexual phone calls, and forced touching of intimate areas of certain women. Welcome to the program, I'm Charlie Rose. We have spoken to dozens of former employees and some of those employees would only agree to speak to us on the condition of anonymity out of fear of what might be the repercussions of, of making a public statement against Charlie Rose. We have detailed allegations from eight women. Three of them spoke to us on the record. All of them either worked for the Charlie Rose Show or were aspiring to work for the Charlie Rose Show. There are striking commonalities in the accounts of the women who we spoke to. One thing that we heard from a number of women is that there was uh, something that happened very early on kind of when they met Charlie. Typically he would reach over and he would grab their legs and they felt like it was a move to test them, to gauge their reactions. So after the hand on the leg, in some cases it escalated. Charlie Rose would frequently uh, invite women to work over at his homes in New York City or work at his home in Bellport, New York and frequently he would walk around naked in front of them. He would say that he was going to take a shower and then he would emerge from the shower and he would be nude walking in their presence. And we heard from one woman who worked for him as an intern in the 1990s that this behavior of walking around nude in front of women, it was known as, quote, the shower trick at the time. My co-reporter on this story, Erin Carmone, she actually originally heard about some of these allegations concerning Charlie Rose seven years ago. And she tried to report the story then and was unable to confirm it. From our studios in New York City, this is Charlie Rose. The Charlie Rose Show has been in production since 1991. It's a pretty unique show in the sense that it really does revolve around Charlie. The Harvey Weinstein story continues to bring forth more accusations against the film executive. And over the years, it's gained a certain level of prestige. Some of the women that we spoke to said that it was their longtime dream to work for the Charlie Rose Show. Charlie Rose actually owns his own show. His show, however, is kind of housed in an office in the Bloomberg building in Manhattan. And one of the things that a number of women that we've spoken to have told us is that um, they felt like they didn't know who they could complain to if they had a concern involving Charlie's behavior. In most cases, the women told us that they confided in Yvette Vega, who is Charlie Rose's executive producer. She's been with him for decades. We spoke to one woman who worked for him as an assistant, and she was told by this executive producer, oh, that's just Charlie being Charlie. Some of these women told us that part of the reason that they 